Limerick silver is renowned for its rarity and high quality. Its golden age was between 1660 and 1815. During this period, the number of Limerick goldsmiths, who also made silver, increased from 10 to 74. And many of these also ran other businesses like clockmaking. Their wealth and social status grew along with their numbers, with some becoming members of the city council, sheriff and even mayor. One Limerick goldsmith, Joseph Johns, held all three posts during his lifetime. Under the charter of Charles I that set up the assay office in Dublin in 1637, all Irish silver was to be sent to Dublin for testing and hallmarking. However, Ireland in the 17th century was a dangerous place with robbery by highwaymen a real danger. Many silversmiths in provincial towns and cities decided to stamp their wares themselves rather than risk having them stolen. And this was also the case in Limerick. The main centres of production of silver outside of Dublin were Cork and Limerick, though some took place in other towns too, including Kinsale, Galway and Waterford. Limerick silver is extremely rare. Cork silver is about 10 times rarer than Dublin silver, and in turn Limerick silver is about 10 times rarer than Cork silver. The most common pieces of Limerick silver are flatware, that is to say spoons, forks and ladles. To an untrained eye, one silver spoon is very much like another, but experts can see a subtle stylistic difference between the brightly cut engraving on a cork uh, or on a Limerick spoon. That's the fastest detail along the stem of a spoon designed to sparkle in candlelight.